What's up guys, it is JBeeps here, and welcome to another episode of the New York Giants rebuild. We are in a very tough, tough, tough situation right now. We we said preseason goal, let's go to the playoffs, you know? It's been two seasons in a row, we've done it. However, we are now sitting at four and eight. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to the playoffs. So it's just a little bit of a melancholy ending. I think we'll probably I think we might get fired for that, or at least put on the hot seat. Uh, I don't really know what to expect right now. I think the team need some sort of change I think you guys I think we didn't do enough last last off season I think we we're really just you know trying to say all right we're gonna go we're really gonna go for it next season that we spent I think we spent too much time doing that last off season you know, we're really focusing on our, this next season this this season we're in right now this is gonna be our season this draft is where we're gonna really prove to everyone that this team is actually an amazing team deserving of being Super Bowl caliber at least and I just think that was a mistake that we made we should have don't put off till tomorrow what can be done today and I think that's where it's really gonna screw us over really it's a shame it's such a shame because I feel like we're really gonna be really setting us our, ourselves up in a really good position right now you know I mean with the players that we're scouting the players we're gonna end up probably end up drafting I feel like it'd really be setting us up for if not immediate success very quick success in the future and with just getting this really heavy draft class of good young backups on the rookie contracts would allow us to really go after some big free agents and then that would make obviously it would make the cap decision much much easier right, I think you gotta play through your injury at this point in the season we're playing I mean you guys are playing for the you guys are playing for my, we're playing for my job at this point Everyone's slowly getting back to being healthy. I think that hurt us this season. Not We didn't really have any big injuries, but we had a couple of four-week injuries that really set us back to how, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, we had four really bad weeks. It was, we had four bad weeks, three weeks in a row. You know, three times in a row. We had multiple players out, concurring injuries, and all those things like that. We're currently five and eight. Don't think we're making the playoffs this year. I don't necessarily know if that's even being talked about right now. I don't even know if that's a possibility that the general managers are talking or the executives are talking. So I really don't know what to be doing right now. I don't know if I should be prepping to hand this team over. If I should be prepping to run it back next season. If I should be prepping for, all right, this is your final season with the team. Or if, if it's, all right, bad season this season, but next season, you're, if you don't do well, you're gone. I don't know if it's that type of situation. <laughs> been a really kind of a little depressing end to this series because we de we've deserved so much better than this yeah we're not in the playoffs
because I truly feel like this team is set up for success. It's just, I don't think we're the coach to do it. Because, I mean, just looking at the team, we have a very, very solid all-around team. We don't have any weaknesses. We have so many strengths. I think it's just, eventually, you hit a wall, and you need some sort of change. I think... That's what we need really hit in the offseason. We need superstars. We don't need good solid players. We need 90 overalls. We need we need those big, big stars that are really gonna propel this team in the to the future. Cause I think we have two we only have two X factors on the entire team. One on offense, one on defense. I think we need to somehow find a way find a way to look in the right direction at some really truly first first year with the team players that are going to make an Im immediate impact like I think at this point we can't be saying oh you know, hopefully they'll play well for us next year I think at this point it's it's do or die it is do or die right now And unfortunately, it's looking more like die right now. I think we were a little bit too aggressive in setting our goal at the beginning of the season. Yeah, we're we're not making the playoffs. I don't even know if we'll get seven wins. This is a tough. It's been a tough season. For the team. I'm sure it's been even more tough for the players. Because, I mean, we have made some question. I guess you could call them questionable moves. I guess at this point in the game. But I think. I think we just got to take our. Take our loss with pride. And say we gave it our all. We tried to do what we could for the team. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. I'm still the coach. Did they actually not fire us, or did we sign a two-year extension? I, I, didn't, I didn't, never paid any attention to the extension. I just assumed they were all one-year extensions. Yeah, finished six and ten. All right, let's check out the news. Let's go to team news. I think we're still. I think we. Do we have another season with the team? Or is this gonna be some cruel twist where they? Surprised me after the Super Bowl and hitting in the offseason like, oh yeah, by the way, you're fired. I hope that's not the case. I would like to keep this job. I think we're also in a tough division right now. Uh, let's check the Pro Bowl roster. Yeah, Washington's made it to the Super Bowl. J. Watt made the Pro Bowl. And yeah, that's it for us. Did Anthony make the Pro Bowl? 
I think I might just completely skipped over him. A few yearly awards, I doubt any of our players did anything. MVPs, Patty Mahomes. Coach of the Year, yeah, surprisingly we're not on there. NFC. Oh, Craig made Defensive Rookie of the Year list. Yeah. Larry Williams made best D lineman. Yeah, didn't really do much this season. All right, well, let's head into the off season. And hopefully, we can change some fortunes. This is the last opportunity to re-sign your players, right, so, or they'll become free Thankfully, Washington agents. didn't win. Cause he, all right, so we need to see. Yeah, I want to see all these NFC players retiring. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I like to see all these free agents, all these players that are from the NFC finally retiring. All right, well, that's going to conclude this episode. Uh, thankfully, I guess we're going to keep our job. I guess. And I think we're really going to... It's going to be a very interesting ep episode next one. So... To make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see when that is. And until then, it is Jay Beads signing off.